theyeshiva.net. Welcome to our fifth class in the Sefer Toymer Dvore, the Palm of Dvore, by Rabbeinu Moshe Cordovero, the great sage and mystic of Tzvas, who passed away in 1570, the teacher of the Arizal. And today's class is dedicated in the merit of Binyamin Yisrael Chayim ben Chanita, Yechiel Shalom Mardechai ben Malka Nechama, Hena, and David Chaim ben Sipira for a complete and speedy recovery, many long, happy, and healthy and prosperous years. But the Yisrael, Amen Kein Yehi Ratzai. Reb Moshe Kedavero taught us about the first two attributes of compassion that Hashem has, and the way we are empowered to emulate these attributes in our own life. Now we continue with Hagimel. The third attribute, the Rabbeinu Moshe Kordavera says, is Ve'ever al Pesha. Remember, this is all based on that posik, that verse in Micah chapter 7, Micha Perik Zion, Mi Kel Kamoicha, Noise Avain, Ve'ever al Pesha, etc. So, first he discussed Mi Kel Kamoicha, who is a power like you. Then he discussed the second attribute, Noise Avain, he carries, contains, beers, iniquity. And now he continues the third attribute, Va'ever al Pesha, which literally means God passes over sin or he forgoes transgression. Says the Ramak Zumida This is a stupendous attribute. Shade'ina mechil al yide shliach. What this Pasuk is teaching us, teaching us is that God does not issue forgiveness through an emissary, through a messenger. El al yodoy mamesh al baruch hu. He himself gets involved to forgive, to cleanse, to purify, to sanctify the human being. As David HaMelech tells us in Tehillim chapter 130, Forgiveness is with you, through you. You forgive yourself. You don't send a messenger to give the message of forgiveness. What is this forgiveness? What does it consist of? God himself washes off, he cleans away the blemishes, the toxicity, the negativity, the transgression. As the Navi Yeshaya, the prophet Isaiah says in chapter 4, Hashem Hashem washes away the filth that exists in the daughters of Zion. The Chenksiv, the Navi Yecheskel says, Ezekiel 36, I myself, I, Hashem says, God says, I will sprinkle upon you the waters of purity, of cleanliness. This is what the prophet Micha says about Hashem. He passes over transgression or he forgoes, meaning, He sends the waters of purity, the waters of cleansing, in order to clean up, to wash off the transgression, so that the transgression should be removed. So Hashem sends forth waters of washing, which removes, eliminates, passes and washes away the transgression. What is the Ramak teaching us here? Let's think about this for a moment. And this explanation is based on a talk that was shared by the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Chof of, Tovshin Chof Dalet, the 20th of of 1964, was a Fabrengen for the yard site of his father. And he discussed then, he made a siyum on Mesechta Babakama, concluded Gemara Babakama, and also discussed the end of Mesechta Yuma, Tractate Yuma. And he explained that one would inter- one naturally can entertain the following thought. You're talking about Hashem, who is infinite, the creator of the world, who transcends matter, time, space, who transcends ev- anything physical and anything spiritual that's finite. And God gave a blueprint to the Jewish people how to live. It's called the Torah, mitzvahs. And I, whether inadvertently or willingly, Maliciously or non-maliciously, I transgressed this blueprint. I broke, I broke the law of Hashem. I betrayed the divine creator. Okay, there's forgiveness, there's tshuva, but does Hashem really have to descend into a place of toxicity, a place of filth? You would think that's inappropriate. 
to have a king like Hashem, he's infinite, he's the essence of holiness, the essence of goodness, the essence of purity, he told you how to live, you fail to live this way, and sometimes it wasn't a mistake, it can even be willingly, I knew what I was doing and I did it anyway, for whatever reason, so Hashem said, okay, let's send messengers, <laughs> the Rebbe said humorously, we'll send the Shamash of the Shul, he gets paid for this, this is his job, we'll send him to go into this place of filth and go into this place of toxicity, and help the person, make the person a little more refined. When he's a little more refined, we'll send the assistant rabbi. When the assistant rabbi is done and he gets elevated to yet a higher level, then we'll send the rabbi himself. When the rabbi is done, then we'll send angels. And when the angels are done, then surpassed, now Hashem himself will handle this person and bring him up to even a deeper, holier, purer level. Comes the Pasuk and says, no. Hashem himself says, I am going to go myself, not through a malach, and not through a sorof, and not through a shliach, and not through a rov, and not through a rabbi, and not through a shamish, and not through a gabai. I myself, rochatz Hashem, as he says, laya yidei shliach, ki imcha aslich. V'oiver al pesha, he himself is busy removing. V'oiver means to remove. He is busy removing the stain, removing the blemish, helping this Jew, helping this person come back to his or her own innate holiness and innate purity and intrinsic closeness to the infinite love of God. Not sending anybody else. This is not something I'm delegating to anybody else. God. But one second, the person is filthy. And it may be a person who's happy to be filthy. Sometimes he or she is content. I don't even want to get out of it. For me, it's not called filth. I'm happy to wallow in the filth, in the spiritual garbage. Where does God come there? God, stay away. No. I want to go and bathe and clean up my child. Says Ramak. Vehine mamish kidmuze. This is the image I can replicate. This is the mirror. This I want to become a reflection, a mirror of this midah. This is exactly the visage which a person should emulate. And a person shouldn't say, I'm going to go repair what another person did. He sinned. He destroyed, he became or she became a destructive force. I should get involved. I should go out of my cocoon. I should descend from my ivory tower. I should descend from my heavenly spiritual place of holy solitariness and try to fix, cleanse, inspire, animate, give hope, encouragement, inspiration for this person who was corrupt, who was destructive, who behaved in a stupid, immoral, promiscuous way. Let him clean up the mess that he created. I'm not getting messy. Don't say this. A person sins against who? Against the creator of the world, who is really the only true reality, who encompasses everything. So that's a very serious thing. And Hashem himself, not through a messenger, not through an emissary, not through any shliach, he himself comes to fix, to repair the person, to remove the sin, and to wash away the filth created by the toxicity and the transgressions. Mikan says the Ramak. So therefore, what do I learn from this? You emulate that midah as well. Have the courage, have the resilience, develop the love and the sensitivity. Don't run away from anybody. Don't hide. Don't feel I'm holier than thou. I can't deal with people like you. Open up your heart, open up your soul, open up your love to every single person and offer them the dignity they deserve. Show them how can they that they can return to their true untarnished essence. Umikan the Ramak adds, and from this point, a person should learn to be ashamed to sin again. Because the king himself is going to be the one who's going to have to do the laundry. 
Sebastian. In other words, remember, when I sin, God is not sending any messengers to do the laundry. He's not sending any messengers to come into my abyss, to come into my filth and help me clean up. He himself is coming in there. He himself is going to be there. So I have to have Rachmanis, even if I don't have Rachmanis for myself. I should have Rachmanis for the Shechina. I should have Rachmanis for Hashem. I should realize what's happening here. So the Ramak is saying, the next time I want to sin, next time I want to lie, next time I want to cheat, the next time I want to do something or say something or go somewhere or look at things, whatever it is, which is a betrayal of my divine essence and the divine blueprint for life, I have to remember that Hashem is going to be coming to do the laundry himself. And therefore, I should think twice. This class is brought to you by the yeshiva.net. Please help us continue the classes. Make even a small contribution at www.theyeshiva.net slash donate.